to the show. She's from East St. Louis. She became an All-American at UCLA and later an Olympic gold medalist. Jackie Joyner Kersey, right? No, Dawn Harper Nelson. One of the greatest athletes our town has ever produced. And even though she's in the sunset of her career, Dawn is still going strong. With the help of editor Bill Bennett, we give you her story. In the history of our town, there just haven't been many like her. So dedicated, so decorated, and still so devoted to her hometown. My East St. Louis and St. Louis roots run so deep for me. Even on my spikes, I tell Nike that I want them to put, I have something called East Boogie, I have City of Champions, and I will have East St. Louis. I have that on a number of my spikes because I want people to know that this is where my roots are, this is where I started. Where Dawn Harper Nelson finished last week was one of the more amazing things in sports this summer. At 33 years of age, in the World Championships in Rome, Dawn finished second in the 100 meter hurdle. Second in the world at that age. Dr. Rick Lehman has worked with Dawn since she was in high school. Well, it's unheard of for a hurdler. So no hurdler at 33 to win a silver medal at a world championship. So every great hurdler in the whole world shown up. And so she's two in the world at 33. So that would be Albert Pujols hitting 50 home runs at 50 years old. It, it doesn't happen. Dawn Harper Nelson has been defying the odds her entire career. In fact, in her crowning moment, her gold moment, 2008 in Beijing, she wasn't even the favorite. It was supposed to be Lolo Jones's race. It wasn't. And it's a fair start. Here's the first hurdle. Here comes Dawn Harper to join them. It was something. Initially, to be honest, because I'm human, it bothered me. It did, you know, um, because it was like, you know, my hard work and sacrifices were just as painful, you know, and as serious as the other seven ladies that I lined up with in the Olympic final. And so it seemed as if they were trying to devalue my sacrifices. But then I had to realize, if you support someone, you support someone, and they supported her. And I just had to go out there and prove it and earn my right to say, I am the Olympic champion and I'm the best one out here. And so I really had to let that go to have a happy career, not just a fulfilling career, a happy career. But there isn't anything happy about the way this woman runs. An angelic smile, but a devilish competitor. She says you have to approach each and every one of those hurdles with a sense of insanity. A sense of insanity means that uh, typically people don't want to run at a barrier, um, especially knowing that there's a chance that you could hit it and fall and really hurt yourself. So you have to have a sense of, I want this so bad that I'm willing to risk everything 10 times to go over 10 barriers and trying to see what the outcome will be. Despite all the medals and world championships, there's also been heartbreak. When last year, Dawn Harper Nelson was suspended for three months after testing positive for a banned substance. I cried my eyes out. I mean, there were so many nights where I just sat up thinking, this is unreal. But then you have to just say, it is what it is. What it was, and the reason the suspension was so short, she was taking medicine for her high blood pressure. The problem is her blood pressure gets high, and I mean really high. She starts to get headaches, she's anxious, she starts sweating, and she knows that the, some of the drugs that are, have been prescribed, and they've been prescribed by cardiologists, not just anybody, and she knows that some of those drugs are not okay. Well, now she knows which drugs are okay and which drugs are not okay, but we've had episodes, and not just a few, where it has really been almost life-threatening, where her blood pressure has been so high that we've had to admit her to the hospital. The blessing is, is that with all of my proof that I sent in from my doctors, um, over 40 pages of proof to show this is what I needed. It was life-threatening. I was in the emergency room, you know, with blood pressure 198 over 118. I mean, that just shows that my numbers were serious and I was just blessed that they believed me. And then it was on to more and more wins for Dawn. She thinks of Tokyo and the 2020 games. At age 36, it's still a possibility. How do you bet against her? The only person she does lose to is her husband. Alonzo Nelson, her high school sweetheart, and a former hurdler himself. There are many times we line up and I tell him, I'm busting your butt on this one. If you don't get out, your wife is going to have the crown. And so he will not let me win. So it's a love-hate thing there. What do you think your record is against roughly? I have won zero times. He will not let me win because he knows when we play games in the house and even bowling, if I win, it's over. I am like in your face. <laughs> so on the track, he knows you can win with the ladies, but not with the guys. Alonzo Nelson is a teacher and coach on the east side, so he is training with his athletes 
so he can compete with his very talented wife.